Welcome to Chrissy Field, an Oregon Lifestyles episode on Brookings, Oregon. This is the southernmost coastal town in Oregon. We're right over the California border and this is the first place you might want to stop to pick up some information. There's a lot of little trails. We're very near to the beach and the visitor center is absolutely gorgeous. So let's go inside and see what we can find to do in Brookings. After a day in the Redwoods, I was ready to cross the border into Oregon and I planned to stay in Brookings. The Best Western Beachfront Inn sits right on the beach and will be the perfect place for me to explore the southern coast. This is the Best Western Plus. This is a beachfront inn. This is the only accommodations right here on the beach where every single balcony has an ocean view. This is amazing. The view is right here on the ocean. Every single room at this resort has this view and you just can't get any closer to the ocean. Many of the rooms have wonderful jacuzzi suites, so the jacuzzi is right under the window with the sea breeze coming in. They also have a variety of pet rooms if you have your little pet that wants to come along. My room at the Beachfront Inn is spacious and luxurious. The best Western Plus hotels offer an enhanced level of comfort with modern amenities for both the business and leisure traveler. And when you fall asleep at night and wake up in the morning, this is what you're gonna hear. This is such a great place to come and relax. They have a heated pool year round that's like 85 degrees and then they have a jacuzzi that's even warmer. A full buffet breakfast is included in your room. The beauty of staying right here on the beach next to the river is everything is in walking distance. So if you wanna come here and plan like a three day vacation, week long vacation, they have their very own gift shop here with fresh fudge and samples. Uh, so you can get handmade fudge here at the gift shop at Beachfront Inn um, and you can sample, which is my favorite thing. And it's all made right here. If you want a beach comb, picnic, bonfire, kayak in the ocean or the river or right on the Chetco River or just like tool around, there's surfing, there's windsurfing, beach combing, river fishing, ocean fishing. You will want to book several days if you're staying in Brookings Harbor here at the Beachfront Inn. I was excited to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather on the coast. We're at Indian Sands and this is an incredible free show that you get on the Oregon coast in the winter when the swells are coming in. It looks like fireworks. It's beautiful. Other activities around Brookings include golfing and exploring the Chetco River. One of the wonderful things about coming up river just a couple miles off of the coast is the temperature changes dramatically. And so if it's 70 on the coast, it might be 80, 85, 90 inland. So if you're on the coast and it's foggy, you literally have to drive a couple miles and be on one of these beautiful riverbeds. There are some great dining options all within walking distance and even craft beer and distilleries have recently emerged on the scene. So among some of the uh, fresh and local brews that we have here, this is uh, Checo Brewing's uh, Block and Tackle. This is an aged stout. My favorite part about these accommodations is the location. You are right on the beach. You can't get any closer to the beach. Every single room has its private balcony overlooking the beach. You're at this beautiful working harbor in Brookings where you see fishing boats coming and going. Um, you can walk to the port. There's lots of shopping, ice cream, restaurants. Last night for fun, we hung out on the jetty and we watched the giant ships come in. 